to my uh, first Anthrobox uh, review of a double uh, O gauge model railway item. The item today that we'll be looking at is the uh, Pullman Observation Coach R4377. From previous uh, reviews and pictures that seen online and in magazines, it looked as if I was in for a treat, and uh, I was, basically. Initial thoughts that uh, that you kind of see on the uh, as soon as you get it, you see that uh, the overall shape of it is very good, and the livery application from a distance also looks quite good. And generally, the de detail is all there and looks very good. So just open it up and we'll have a closer look. Straight away, the uh, sheer amount of detail that Hall may be put in for this single coach is, uh, well, quite staggering because uh, just the bodywork in general is all very good. And lovely flush glazing there, which is lovely. And uh, the livery application is also absolutely brilliant, as, as you should expect on a Hornby model of this price. It's, um, Although I got this one for £30, which I thought was a very good deal, um, they're still at new price is approximately £50, which admittedly for a coach is very expensive. The chassis as well, as you can see all here, there is lots of detail there. They say everything, ex everything that is on the, the uh, real thing is in is on the model, with the exception of the dynamo duct going from there to there. One thing that I just discovered then, as I was uh, opening it, is that uh, this end piece here can come off, so you can really admire the view, well, the view, the detail inside. Up against uh, pictures of the uh, real thing, it, the Hornby have done a very good job at replicating this uh, model. All of the front detail is there, with the correct style of buffers, not circular ones. And then the detail on the back as well is also all there and looking very good. I'll just show you. And looking through the uh, glazing, you can, can. Hornby have also done, done, done a very good job at this. see how it runs on the tracks. Once you've uh, got the observation car on the track, the lights kick in and they are brilliant basically. Um, you can't really see them here because it's quite a light day. Admittedly I probably should have done this in the evening, but you might just be able to see the uh, ambient glow created by the uh, lights and at the right colour an orangey tinge rather than the bright white as you might expect on a modern day coach close coupling wise as you might expect with the uh, Pullman's um, really it isn't that close it's fairly wide which is a little bit of a letdown but uh, you can get uh, different couplings which will 
uh, their your coaches closer together, such as the Keen Systems one, which does look very good. Once running, it does run very smoothly, which uh, is nice, and it is running perfectly fine on the uh, second radius corners that I'm using here, which uh, are the R607s provided by Hornby. Um, I've got an, a uh, unmodified Batman ball class running at the head. Um, it seems to be coping okay with just two coaches, but it was struggling when you put uh, four on it, so performance are quite taxing on locomotives, which are a bit of a problem, but 